Hello, and welcome to today's webinar covering long-term disability benefit changes at USC. Today's date is June 16th, 2023, and today's webinar is expected to run approximately five minutes long. Today, we'll be covering long-term disability benefits at a high level. However, if you have any questions, please refer to our MetLife microsite at metlife.com slash USC. USC is committed to investing into the well-being of our staff and faculty. Starting July 1st, 2023, benefit eligible staff and faculty will automatically be enrolled in MetLife long-term disability insurance at no cost to you. As a special call out, please note that employees of USC Verdugo Hills Hospital and USC Las Vegas Culinary Medical Group will continue to be covered under their own short and long-term disability insurance policies. Please refer to the disability website if you have any questions about the USC Verdugo Hills Hospital or Las Vegas Culinary Long and Short-Term Disability Benefits. During today's discussion, we will be talking about disability insurance at large. We'll discuss the new long-term disability insurance benefits available through USC on July 1st. We'll discuss details about the current and future states of benefits, and we'll discuss additional benefits available under the long-term disability plan. Let's talk about disability insurance in general. Disability insurance is designed to replace income when a staff or faculty member is medically, medically certified as unable to work due to an injury or medical condition. There are two general types of disability insurance, short and long-term disability. The state of California requires that all California workers be enrolled in short-term disability. You may choose as a California worker either to enroll in the state of California program or USC's basic disability plan. USC's basic disability plan mirrors that of the state plan, but does enhance your benefit in certain ways. Please refer to the disability website if you want a comparison of the basic or state disability plan. Short-term disability under both programs provides an initial 52 weeks of coverage. Staff and faculty that choose to enroll in USC's basic short-term disability plan may also choose to enroll in USC's supplemental short-term disability plan, which is an enhanced benefit and provides additional earnings during the initial 52 weeks of absence or illness. There are no changes to any of USC's short-term disability plans or their pricing at this time, and they will be continued to be administered by Broadspire or the state of California. However, today we will discuss long-term disability changes. Long-term disability insurance, as applicable, will provide benefits beyond the initial 52 weeks of absence due to injury or medical or illness, potentially up to age 65. Effective July 1st of this year, USC will be providing long-term disability benefits as part of our total rewards and benefit package. This benefit is provided through MetLife. Prior to July 1st, only employees, staff and faculty who chose to enroll themselves in supplemental short-term disability were provided free long-term disability insurance paid for by USC. About 50% of the active population at USC cho chooses to enroll themselves in supplemental short-term disability, meaning prior to July 1st, about 50% of our population was provided free long-term disability coverage by USC. However, after July 1st of this year, all eligible staff and faculty will be provided long-term disability insurance at no cost to them. This will be paid for by USC. Again, this benefit is provided at no cost to you. You will automatically be enrolled in Workday and long-term disability will appear as an employer paid benefit on your pay stub. Let's dig into some specifics about the current state of the in the existing program, and then we'll talk about the future state with the new program through MetLife. In the existing program prior to July 1st of 2023, staff and faculty may utilize basic short-term disability insurance to replace income when they are medically certified as unable to work due to an injury or medical condition. Basic short-term disability will provide 52 weeks or up to 52 weeks of income replacement due to an injury or illness. 
Eligible staff enrolled in the supplemental short-term disability plan may receive a larger percentage of base wages during the 52 weeks of short-term disability. Staff and faculty who elected the short-term disability plan, so about 50% of our employees, were provided with long-term disability insurance, which would provide extended coverage beyond the initial 52 weeks of absence due to injury or illness. And this plan would cover 70% of monthly, monthly wages for totally disabled employees. Totally disabled means you are 100% unable to do your or any occupation beyond 52 weeks of absence. That means you are not able to, to perform your own job or any job in order to qualify for benefits. If an employee was on the state California plan or basic short-term disability plan, not enrolled in supplemental short-term disability, they would do not have any long-term disability coverage at this time, and instead would need to work through government agencies to find social security benefits available to them. In the future state, which is dates on or after July 1st of 2023, staff and faculty will utilize basic short-term disability as they would before, which will replace income when they are medically certified as unable to work due to an injury or medical condition. Eligible staff and faculty enrolled in supplemental short-term disability may continue to receive a larger percentage of base wages during the initial 52 weeks. However, we are no longer tying long-term disability benefits provided through USC to your enrollment in supplemental disability. Eligible staff and faculty will now be enrolled in MetLife's long-term disability insurance, which is paid for by USC. It covers absences beyond 52 weeks and will pay 60% of monthly base wages for full and partial disabilities up to $15,000 per month. The important nuance here is that our plan will now cover partial disability benefits. Partial disability means that you have a loss of earnings or are unable to do your job at 20% or more. So if you, due to an absence for your own disability beyond 52 weeks, are able to do some work, but are not able to do a full day's work under your current job definition or job description, you are eligible or may be eligible to receive partial disability benefits under this new program. This plan will pay up to $15,000 per month which fully protects earnings up to $300,000. Employees earning up to $300,000 will be fully covered under the long-term disability plan paid for by USC. If you are an employee making above $300,000 and would like to protect your earnings above $300,000, we will make a voluntary benefit available to you in 2024, so please stay tuned. There are additional benefits available through MetLife under this long-term disability plan. Those include retraining programs, vocational analysis, social security specialist services, job modification or accommodation services, nurse consultant or case manager services, or financial incentives. Please reference metlife.com slash USC to review any of these additional benefits provided under the LTD plan. Lastly, as an important call out, if you are a staff or faculty member currently receiving short-term or long-term disability benefits, that occurred before July 1st of this year, you will remain on the existing plans administered through Broadspire or through the state. This benefit is available to any new disability occurring on or after July 1st of this year. If you have any questions about your disability benefits or these changes that we discussed here today, please contact the HR Service Center at 213-821-8100 or usch.edu. Thank you and fight on.